Here's a chilling tale inspired by Indiana's eerie landscapes and ghostly legends. The Phantom Lights of Crosley Forest. In the heart of Indiana lies Crosley State Fish and Wildlife Area, a serene expanse of dense woods, glassy lakes, and mist-shrouded trails. By day, it's a place for nature lovers and anglers. But by night, locals warn it's a different story, a haunted forest said to hold the restless spirits of its troubled past. Back in the early 1900s, the area was home to a small farming community. A devastating fire destroyed the village, leaving many dead and scattering survivors. Legend says the spirits of those who perished in the fire never left, and their anger lingers in the forest. One fall evening, four college students from Bloomington decided to camp in the forest for a night of ghost hunting. They'd heard about the mysterious phantom lights that locals swore could be seen flickering in the woods after sunset. Armed with flashlights, a camera, and a mix of bravado and curiosity, they ventured deep into the woods. The first few hours were uneventful. The forest was quiet, save for the occasional hoot of an owl or the rustle of leaves. Then just as the sun dipped below the horizon, strange lights began to appear. Tiny orbs of orange and blue floated among the trees, weaving through the underbrush like fireflies. But these weren't insects. The lights moved with purpose, circling the group and then vanishing as quickly as they'd appeared. One of the students, a skeptic named Eric, decided to follow the lights. He pushed deeper into the woods, his friends trailing reluctantly behind. The lights led them to a clearing where the remnants of a burned out farmhouse stood, a skeletal frame of charred wood. As they approached, the air grew cold and the smell of smoke filled their nostrils, though no fire had burned there for decades. Inside the ruin, Eric found an old iron stove rusted and covered in soot. He reached to open its door, and that's when the whispers began. Low and guttural at first, the voices grew louder, overlapping into an unintelligible cacophony. The group froze as a new light appeared, a fiery orange glow emanating from the stove. Suddenly a figure emerged from the glow. It was a woman, her body cloaked in flames, her eyes hollow and black. She pointed at Eric, her mouth opening wide to emit an ear-splitting scream. The fire in the stove roared to life, its heat so intense that the group stumbled backward. Panicked, they turned to run, but the forest had changed. The trail they'd followed was gone, replaced by a labyrinth of trees that seemed to close in around them. The phantom lights reappeared, but now they were dozens in number swirling madly and forcing the group to scatter. Eric ran blindly, his heart pounding in his chest. The whispers grew louder, transforming into voices that seemed to come from all directions. He tripped and fell, landing hard on the forest floor. When he looked up, he saw the flaming woman standing over him, her charred hand reaching for his face. He screamed and everything went black. Eric woke up at dawn, lying at the edge of the forest. His friends were there too, pale and shaken, unable to explain how they'd found their way out. Their gear was gone, save for Eric's camera, which he clutched tightly. When they reviewed the footage later, it was mostly static, except for one clear image. It showed the burned out farmhouse, the flaming woman standing in its doorway, and four shadowy figures in the distance watching from the trees. Locals say the students were lucky to escape with their lives. Many others who've chased the phantom lights of Crosley Forest were never seen again. To this day, the forest remains a popular spot for thrill seekers, but few are brave enough to stay after dark. Those who do often report hearing whispers in the trees and glimpsing flickering lights just beyond the edge of their vision. 
but be warned, if the lights find you, they may never let you leave. Please like and share with your family and friends. Leave a comment. I would love to hear from you and subscribe so you don't miss future videos.